10 things you probably didn't know were legal to own in the UK. English law is very often criticised for being very restrictive and regulating the things that you are allowed to own or not allowed to own, often imposing severe penalties and even imprisonment just for owning the thing. But today we're going to look at some of the interesting and quirky things that you are allowed to own within specific parameters. But first of all, if you're new to me, I'm a barrister who helps you understand law. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on new videos. And if you've got questions, drop them in the comments below and subscribe to Black Belt Secrets where I answer your questions in the comments. So in at number 10 of my list of quirky things that you are allowed to own in the UK is ants. That's right, those little tiny things. Many of you will spend a long time trying to get rid of these ants out of your garden and even out of your home. But in recent months and the last couple of years, many people have turned to keeping them as pets. Partly through an interest of scientific study, partly because it's a new and quirky thing for children to be interested in, but many more people are keeping different kinds of ants as pets to watch the colony grow. You can even import foreign species of ants and keep them without a problem. However, it might amount to an offence if you release certain species into the wild. In at number nine, you may not realise that it is legal to purchase and to own and to drive a passenger bus. Although you will need to upgrade your licence to be able to drive it for a passenger carrying vehicle, which is in category D. And if you intended to carry passengers for profit, you will need a certificate of professional competence. But if you don't plan on carrying people for profit, then you don't need the full CPC. And dare I say it, there might be a discussion or two to be had with your neighbours about where you're going to park the thing. In at number eight, it is legal to own meerkats as a pet in the UK. Although the RSPCA says that they are not ideal as pets because they're usually aggressive, they usually have a dangerous bite, and they're just not very friendly as a pet. There are also requirements under the Animal Welfare Act as to how you keep these things and the conditions of their habitat, which is probably impossible to do in a home setting. But nonetheless, there is no law specifically prohibiting the ownership of meerkats as a pet. In at number seven, we have samurai swords, although there are some specific requirements. In April 2008, a law came into effect banning samurai swords or any other sword with a curved blade over 50 centimetres. Although what many people didn't realise is that there was an amendment passed in August of that year. This amendment made it legal for samurai swords to be sold without a licence, provided that they were handmade in a traditional forging method. It also permitted swords to be imported that were made before 1954. Some of the elements you can look out for for a traditionally made sword will be that it's made from carbon steel, it has a full tang, it may be folded, and so on. In at number six, you may be surprised to learn that it is legal to own a monkey as a pet in the UK, provided that you acquire a license in accordance with the provisions of the Dangerous Wild Animals Act of 1976. Of course, there are going to be very strict requirements that you must adhere to for the habitat and the environment in which you are going to keep the monkey. And experts estimate that as few as 5% of monkeys that are kept as pets in the UK are actually kept in accordance with a license. And there are dozens of calls out every year, either for escaped monkeys or monkeys who are kept in unsatisfactory conditions. And I think it goes without saying that keeping a monkey as a pet is far apart than keeping a regular dog or a cat. In at number five and sticking with the animals theme, believe it or not, it is also legal to own a tiger. But again, so long as you can satisfy the license requirements of keeping it. So if it is your dream to own a pet tiger, then whilst you'll have to jump through quite a few hoops and acquire a license, the dream may come true. In at number four, getting bigger and faster, it is legal to own a fighter jet under specific circumstances. The Civil Aviation Authority, the UK's regulator for airspace and aircraft, has a specific document relating to decommissioned military aircraft. Document CAP 632 deals with airworthiness of ex-military aircraft and permits to fly. The document also deals with restoration and rebuild of ex-military aircraft for those that might be enthusiasts. In at number three, it is perfectly legal to own a harpoon, otherwise known as a spear gun in the UK. There is no special license, no special permit, and there are just a few restrictions to bear in mind. For example, you cannot spear fish at night. You can even take the spear gun abroad, you can take it on a plane, but not surprisingly, you're not allowed to carry it in your hand luggage. Number two may be of interest to those that have cars or bikes racing up and down their street non-stop, and you'd like to do something about it. If you hadn't guessed, number two is a laser speed gun, which is able to detect the speed of a moving vehicle. Not only are they legal, but Lincolnshire and Cheshire local authorities have been working with members of the public to buy and sell laser speed guns to catch speeding motorists. 
In the initial stages, they'll be sending a letter of warning that they've been caught speeding, and in some circumstances, that might be progressed even further. And I don't think it's outside of the realms of possibility to get enough evidence together and privately prosecute speeding motorists that persistently speed up and down the road, making it dangerous for members of the public. And the number one quirkiest thing that I found is legal to own in the UK is a walking stick which has a concealed shotgun. Now there are very, very specific circumstances under which you are permitted to own one of these and firearms licenses will be involved. But for this, I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Gunroom TV here on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe, pop over to his channel and subscribe there. And we'll be doing a full collaboration on all of the quirky gun laws, which allow you to own various weaponry under very specific circumstances. So I hope you found that list as interesting as I did. Drop some comments in the box below of anything quirky that you found or that you'd like me to look up for you. I will either deal with it here or over at Black Belt Secrets, so make sure you subscribe there. In the meantime, thanks for watching.